Here we go. Okay, I think we're equipped with razor bullets. Let's see exactly what these do. Can you help me figure this out? I'm sorry. Again, this is a gun movement, not a Valentine's movement. What's up, guys? Welcome back to the most unpredictable series on the internet. Three random games. And we'll start things off with a game called Out of the Game, which seems like a really weird one. It's described as being some kind of escape room, except it's a game within a game within a game. You know, kind of like Inception, except instead of Leonardo DiCaprio, you're stuck with me. Listen, if you look like Kate Winslet and you really want me to, then I guess I could draw your titties. I don't know anything about Andy Warhol's sleep or Dark City, but I know for a fact that computer mouse cursors are not supposed to be able to leave their screen like that. <laughs> Especially when the computer is off. Like, clearly, if I want to start playing the game, I have to turn this laptop on. Like, my hands are fused to it, but I can't figure out how to activate it. Nothing wants to be interacted with, and these posters don't mean anything to me. I I've got a desk, I've got a lamp, can I turn on the... Lamp? Okay. So the laptop runs on a smart lamp, and the smart lamp runs on Windows XP. That kind of helps, I guess. Not really. <laughs> I still don't know if we're playing the game. Oh! <gasps> okay! So... It's not out of the game, it's into the game. And I'm a foot tall. Yeah, it, it's just that typical dream. You know, the one where you jump into a computer and you wake up a bunk bed baby? <laughs> Step one, escape the bunk bed. Step two, escape the room. Well, we've got a whole bunch of familiar games. I don't know if it means anything. You know, The Last of Us, Shadow of the Colossus. I mean, some of them I played on the channel, Little Nightmares, Valiant Hearts. But I would imagine if we need to escape this room, then we probably need to walk through the throbbing door. No, of course it couldn't be that easy. I feel like the real question is, why would I want to leave my lovely three-dimensional gamer room to head out into the two-dimensional flat PNG world? It seems like a bit of a downgrade. Oh, maybe we have a secret behind the bookcase? Oh no, it's a bunch of games! Okay, so... What's different about Mario? Oh, hold on, we've got Journey, Eco, Mario, Shadow of the Colossus, is it The Last of Us, The Last Guardian, Out of the Game, which is also giving me positive feedback. Heavy Rain, Detroit, Death Stranding, and Control. So, why are you right? Because you're on PS4, which is clearly wrong! <laughs> what kind of cheap Chinese knockoff is this? Games, puzzles, and more! It's Mario time! I guess I'm just gonna have a seat and hop into you? I did not expect that. <laughs> All right then, it's Mario time. And what the hell is that? It kind of looks like Miyamoto, but I don't think it is because there's also this guy that is clearly not a Miyamoto. <laughs> this is one of the weirdest games I've ever played on this channel. I'm just gonna throw it out there right <laughs> now. I can't quite put my finger on who that is, but it kind of looks like a giant Guy Fieri with a cowboy hat. <laughs> Something tells me I am not gonna be able to get past you, of course. Well, I can't go down any of the pipes, and we're clearly not gonna be able to kill this guy, so we might need to think outside the box. What if we do... Nope! That also killed me a couple of times, I think. <laughs> All right, gonna continue thinking outside the box. What about... This way. There we go. All right then. We've got a key. I would imagine that's a good thing. The door was locked, and now we have a key. It's got a keyhole. I still can't imagine it's gonna be that easy. Nope, of course not. 
So the only other game to give me positive feedback was out of the game. So what if we play out of the game in out of the game? Would that get me out of the room? <laughs> Something tells me this is going to be super trippy. Okay, then. Oh. I can't actually enter out of the game. But I am playing it. Oh yeah, I can move around. So we're playing out of the game inside of out of the game. And then maybe I can escape in the second layer? No. Can't interact with the door. So what can I interact with? I am so confused right now. And I've got Willem Dafoe's stupid face staring at me. Nothing is working here. How do I escape this hellhole? Thank you very much. Not really sure what the purpose of that was other than tripping me out. Didn't manage to accomplish anything there. What if we play a little Pong? Right, can I sit down? Okay, this is definitely a bit more my speed. Especially because I'm playing as both players. <laughs> In which case, everybody wins. Oh yeah, we need to get a, a score of 10. All right, so I'm just going to play it. Nice and easy. There we go, guys. Nice friendly game of Pong. And then hope. Oh, could it be a little louder? I'm not supposed to be getting jump scares in Pong. <gasps> so we now have two keys. And after traveling at the speed of smell towards this door, I'm still going to guess that one keyhole isn't going to work for two keys. So <laughs> do we need another key? Oh. It's the computer and my hands. Okay. Weird. So we're back at the beginning of the game. Wait, what if I... Okay. I can zoom out. Which doesn't seem to really help as far as I can tell. <laughs> Do these have anything? No? Oh! Okay, there's no way out. Skepticism. All right, then. We got the Dark City. Salvation lies ahead. Still not helpful. Well, dreams, they feel real while we're in them, right? It's only when we wake up that we realize something was actually strange. You never really remember the beginning of a dream, do you? You always wind up right in the middle of what's going on. I don't really need a quote from Inception. I, I need a way out of here. Okay, so now... Oh. Okay, here's the keys. So, I'm guessing if I use the keys in here, that's how I can escape. But we probably need another key, right? I don't think these keys are going to be... Enough? Did I crash the game? Once again, how do I escape this hellhole? I really hope that right-click is in the game and not my actual computer. What if we try opening <gasps> you? Okay, there we go. Back to baby mode. If I were a digital key, where exactly would I be? I feel like I've tried every digital option, and there's nothing left on this bookshelf. Oh. Oh! Why is it in my pile of junk? Okay, screw it! So we've got two digital keys and one legitimate key. That works. <laughs> now I should be able to boot you up, zoom in, recycle all of these, I would imagine. Yeah! There we go! Hey, what? Okay, the, the door's still open. We're good. <gasps> I was gonna say, come on, I didn't even get to read what that says. Congratulations, you almost there! Me almost there. We just gotta keep walking at the speed of smell, oh my god. Okay. So it's a bunch of credits. I think we did it. I'm gonna consider that an escape. Three random games. I know that last game kind of screwed with my brain a little bit, but do you hear Christmas music? <laughs> this doesn't seem like a very Christmassy game, but our next game is called Ho Do Ho Holy Crap, It's Just Me Again. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Hi, I'm Sponsorship Turkey, and I'm here to let you know that today's video is brought to you thanks to Raid Shadow Legends.
again. Now I know, I know, we've already talked about Raid, so I'm not gonna go on about how it's been downloaded like 14 million times, or how it has a nearly perfect five-star rating, or how there's over 400 champions in the game for you to unlock and customize. No, 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 no. Today, I'm here to let you know that Christmas has come to Raid. Full Christmas champions are now in the game, and I can't tell which one I like most. Droid Rage Rudolph or Battle Santa? But hey, maybe you don't celebrate Christmas, and that's cool, they've got you covered with the fusion event. You can combine a few champions to unlock Tormund the Cold. I'm not sure why he's cold, exactly. You'd think Valerie would be the cold one, but what do I know? I'm just a fictional bird. It's free to play on Android and iOS, and if you're a new player who specifically uses the link in the description of this video, then you'll have a very special gift waiting for you in your inbox. Now, everything's available for the next 30 days, but you'll get 100,000 silver, two clan boss keys, 10 mystery shards, and one epic champion, a Junicator, who also looks kind of cold now that I think about it. Can someone get this lady a sweater? All right, thank you very much for your time. Merry Christmas, happy holidays. Hey, try a rump roast with your family, or maybe a chicken. I, I know I'm delicious, so it's nothing personal, but it feels personal. <laughs> Why does he keep doing that? Like, it it's my channel that gets supported by these sponsorships. If he wants me to leave, he could just ask. But either way, our next game is called Duel, and I assume it's about a woman who enjoys crumping? Welcome to the tournament, newcomer. The rules are simple. Wait until your opponent starts moving, then shoot first to win. Otherwise, you'll get a misfire penalty. What the hell? Wait, what the hell was that? He shot me before the game even started! So that's how you want to play it, huh? Well, how about I shoot you in your stupid cheating face? <laughs> your dad would be proud of you. Killed a bad guy. Yeah, it's a lot easier now that he doesn't have a friggin' tutorial to hide behind. <laughs> That'll teach him a lesson that he apparently didn't learn. Oh, I shot off an enemy's glasses. Yeah, something tells me the glasses aren't his biggest worry right now. I'm starting to think this guy has a bit of a kink for getting shot in the head. And I probably shouldn't feed into that, you know, it's below me, but at the same time, every time I put a bullet in his eye, coins come flying out the back of his head, then jackpot. Dick shot, oh, oh! I'm sorry, how was I supposed to know we would have chocolates instead of a gun? People have done nothing but try to kill me up until this point, and he was asking me on a date? Listen, I'm a strong independent whammon, and I don't need no man's chocolates. Plus, it's his fault that he has the same cheating face as everyone else around here. Who is trying to kill me? Yeah, that's right, I'll disarm you of your gun, which I doubt was gonna shoot friendship bullets. I have absolutely no plans of finding out what your gun is gonna shoot. <laughs> Maybe I should change it up a little bit. I don't necessarily need to shoot him in the head every single time. What if I shoot you in the foot? Oh, okay. We unlocked razor bullets. That does not make any sense, but I'll take them. We're also level two. We can now upgrade bullet speed or luck. If I wanted to get lucky, I would probably just not shoot the people who are trying to date me, so we'll go with bullet speed. I can also customize. Ooh. Okay. So the longer shot I make, the more fancy things I can get. But I wanted to get some razor bullets. Is that right? There we go. Okay, I think we're equipped with razor bullets. Let's see exactly what these do. Can you help me figure this out? I'm sorry! Again, this is a gun movement, not a Valentine's movement. Wait, who the, who the hell are you? Where did the big ice cream golem come from? Okay, oh, you're back. All right, then, you can take a seat. Where'd your big friend go? That was weird. Dick shot, there we go. I'm so confused. I don't understand what the 2000 FT, I assume it means feet, but we keep seeing these guys. They go down with one shot easy enough. They don't explode, so they're not nearly as entertaining. I can't imagine they're gonna pull a flower out of their pocket. It's probably safe to shoot them in the arm every time. It's just a glancing blow, okay? It's a warning shot. <laughs> Do I have any more bullets? No, still razors. 
And I don't know what any of this does. Okay, we'll keep razors loaded. I'm gonna purchase a, a, a bunch of this. Let's, let's buy all of that. Don't know what it does, but it should be interesting. How's it going, big guy? Bang! <laughs> you drop more coins, maybe? He's a, he's a big guy. What if I shoot you in the foot? Oh! Oh, wasn't that fancy? Bit of a backflip. I'm so confused with this game, but honestly, I don't even care because I'm not taking any of that. Okay, you can put that gun down. I just want one of the ice cream golems to be my friend, okay? If you ask me out on a date, I'll consider it. I'll at least think about it. How about that? I'll keep going until one of you guys is nice to me, and I'll keep avoiding your death until then. You, however, I'm gonna shoot in the face. Ah, okay, I'm done. Three random games. And our final game for today is called Dumbocalypse, which could honestly be a second name for this channel. <laughs> this is Professor Brain, a genius scientist. He was making radio waves that increased the brain power, but one dreadful day his experiments went horribly wrong, and the radiation spread all over the world. I feel like irradiating the world should be a whole lot more than an oops dayum situation. Everyone who came in contact with it lost their brain power and became dumb. Absolutely dumb. Including the good doctor, I would imagine. That gave the professor an amazing idea. To develop an app to advise these no-brainers with their daily problems. And he hired you to do this work for him. Was I not hit with the dumb ray? After playing some of these games, I feel like I might as well have been hit with a dumb ray. As his loyal assistant, your only job is to keep the balance in the world. There will be positive and negative effects on the whole population and their mood. Keep it in check or situation... Keep it in check or situation may get out of hands quickly. Yep, even reading this makes me feel like I'm getting stupid irradiated right now. <laughs> Alright, Professor, I won't let you down, I promise. Ignoring what I just said to the professor, we've got to ask ourselves the age-old question of, do we screw up the planet on purpose? And the answer is always yes. <laughs> so up first, we have Adam Zappel. And it pains me that I just said that out loud before realizing that it's a blatant pun. <laughs> there is a pregnant lady in the sub. Should I offer my seat to her? Oh, absolutely not. No, pregnant women should stand for long periods of time. Mean guy shows no kindness towards pregnant women. Says he follows early bird theory. Wow, they really are getting dumber. Okay. <laughs> Next up, we have Chris P. Bacon. I, I swear to God, if every one of these names is a pun. <laughs> Do you know what I'm good at? Flying or drawing? Oh, you're definitely good at flying. I have no doubt. Man found dead after the flying attempt goes wrong. Blueprints of the flying contraption looked like it was made by a six-year-old. Yeah, you don't want dumb people drawing up flying machines. We've got April, May. What is the shape of this Earth? Totally flat. Absolutely flat. Earth is flat. Corpses of some famous medieval scientists die in embarrassment. Listen, people thinking that the Earth is flat is the least of this world's concerns right now, especially by the time I'm done with them. So, I'm affecting the population and the people. I, I don't know what we started at, but we're moderate population and happy people. And I can drink my coffee. Young man leisurely drinks coffee among all this chaos. <laughs> I've got bottomless coffee, that's pretty good. All right, uh, barricade. There's a button on my desk that says fire. What should I do? Press it. What's the worst that could happen, right? An unknown nuclear head drops. Oh, it was President Barricade. <laughs> Engulfs an entire city. Lots of people died and many are missing. It didn't even cut down on the population. We're still moderate. Don't worry about it. Now we've got Mr. I am you. Should I go to work? No. No one should go to work. Oh, that just made them happy. Do I want to make them a bunch of really happy dead people? Or a bunch of really miserable living people? Then again, that really only matters if I have any idea what I'm doing, right? So 
We'll just play the cards we're dealt, hope for the best, or the worst, technically. Man found eternal happiness in not going for work. Says he has no idea what he will do in his free time. Well, good for you. We have early bird. Should I visit my family? Nobody misses you. Man posts photo of him having fun alone with caption, who needs a family when you have cash? So, oh, now the people are overjoyed. So I am making a bunch of really happy dead people. Oh, and Crispy Bacon is back. Didn't you die in a stupid plane accident? Am I thinking of someone else? <laughs> candy or broccoli? Hmm. Let's go with candy. That should make people happy and die. Okay, I'm getting the hang of things. Kid eats candy all the time. Feels happy and diabetic. Those are two feelings. <laughs> Rick Shaw, my toast is stuck in the toaster. Should I use a fork? Yep. You go ahead and use that fork. Man died in an electric shock incident. Corpse found with a fork in hand. Very good. Man, this population must be huge. I'm killing off people. It flies and it's still at moderate. Jed Die is asking life on Mars. You know what? Sure. Why not? What? Tons of space guy have traveled to Mars in hopes of colonizing. <laughs> died in seconds when their cardboard spaceships fell from buildings. Wonderful. Chris, what are you doing with your life? I can't do everything for you, man. What is two plus two? It's, it's pi, okay? Everybody knows that it's pi. Basic calculations found to be tough to crack. Many students left studying math. Many students being Chris the dipshit. We have deliver. Again, I, I, I literally read it out loud without realizing and then the pun hits me and it hurts. Should I continue playing this stupid game? I guess, man. I don't exactly have a choice. Hopeless attempt to break free from stupid game ends in vain. Yeah, that's what I'm feeling right now. And Earl is back. Are there just like five people on this planet? Because there should be billions considering I keep killing people off. And it's never changing from moderate. Is my cat in the box or not? Yes slash no or do not open the box. Is this Schrodinger's cat? No, this is early bird's cat. Um... Yeah, don't open the box. Don't worry about it. Groundbreaking theory invented by a scientist, but at the cost of his cat. The scientist likely to go to Egyptian hell. Man, they're overjoyed, but population is dangerously low. Now we're getting somewhere. We got Adam's apple. There is this thing in front of me written bomb on it with two wires, red and blue. What? There is this thing in front of me written bomb on it with two wires, red and blue. Which one should I cut? Red? Oh, red was good. A bomb goes off, I'm cutting the wrong wire. Oh, red is bad. Wait, what? A sign with bang pops out. Luckily, no one was hurt. Okay, and that apparently created people? Barry Cade. Oh, well, President Barry. Good to, good to see you, sir. I, I'm sick. Should I take this pill? No, don't, don't take any pills. What? Boy takes no pills, still somehow he recovered. How how am I supposed to kill all these people? What I'm I'm just gonna rapid fire, okay? Uh, you know what? Uh, stitch him, damn it! Okay, was that bad? Probably. Uh, how about you uh, pee on the wire? Oh, that's probably not a good one. <laughs> uh, pull the plug. Yep, sure. That that's great. And we could also oh, it's definitely GIF instead of GIF. That's gonna make people real sad. How about we go with uh, asking Jim Carrey with a K instead of a C. We could even try Leviosa. <laughs> Man, the rapid fire round was great. No, you sick bastards. Ooh, look at that. We're at dangerously low population now. No more people with new questions. The app solved Dumpocalypse for good. Did it? Wait, what? Wow, it seems you've answered all the questions and helped the people the best you could. Now that there are no more people with questions, you could do whatever you like. You can either wait for the lazy ass developer to add more questions or hit that button in the corner and play this all over again. I just wanted to destroy the world. I told people to blow up bombs and crash planes and pee on wires for nothing. Three random games. You know what, I think that's gonna be it for this episode of three random games, guys. And as always, I would love to make more videos like this, but I just don't have enough games. I'm always looking, I'm always trying to find stuff, but it's really difficult. So please give me some recommendations in the comments. Short, weird, fun. Funny little games, stuff that I might be able to play in seven to 10 minutes, and I'll be sure to return for more of this soon. But thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.